Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we're making some amazing reusable glow stick cubes. Thanks for joining me today in another one of my really unique creations that I'd like to share with you on making super glow projects that you can use over and over again. And yes, today we're experimenting with some different colors. These cubes will glow bright for hours after you charge them, and all you need to make them is one of these candy molds, some super glow powder that you can get online, 100% silicone caulk, some plaster of Paris, and some Vaseline. Now let's jump in and get started. I'll explain more about these items as we go through the project. I picked up this candy mold at a craft store for making chocolates from, and it's perfect for what we're gonna do here. It wasn't very expensive, and we're gonna start the same way we've done in some previous videos. We're just gonna coat it up with some Vaseline as a release agent. This is the exact same first step we did with some other materials in the videos that are linked in the description below. Just like in my previous glow product videos, I got my glow powder online at Amazon, and this time I picked up the silicone at a local hardware store. You want to make sure to use silicone in a very well ventilated location because for the first day or so, it's gonna stink. I'm taking these little cups and putting two tablespoons of the silicone in each, then going back and for each color, I'm adding one quarter teaspoon of glow powder and then mixing it up really well. You want to start slow so you don't slosh any of it out of the cup and then mix it thoroughly. Because I'm making six batches at once and not just a single batch, I needed some extra hands and I really want to thank Rania for stepping up and volunteering to help me out here to mix these up quickly so they don't start to set before I can get them in the molds. Now that I have all the glow powder mixed in with the silicone, I'm going to go back and take some plaster of Paris. I'm going to put a quarter teaspoon in each of these cups and then begin to make sure it is mixed up thoroughly and then immediately go ahead and start to transfer this into the candy mold. I'm using the plaster because it actually helps to wick the moisture out of the silicone a little bit quicker and helps it to set up a little bit more firmly. This is a great way to go about doing this, but if you don't have plaster of Paris, you can always use cornstarch. Here's a great little project tip. If you're just making one glow color, there's no need to make six different batches. Just use six times the amount of each item and mix it all up in a single container. Then spread it out evenly in each of the sections of the candy mold. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about strontium aluminate, the chemical that is the super glow powder, because I've used it and discussed it a lot in some previous videos. But I do just want to say I get it all at Amazon at different retailers, and I found that this stuff is fantastic for a long, persistent glow. Once you have this all set into your candy molds, go ahead and take that top piece and firmly push it down into the middle. Make sure that you've done a good job to squeeze it up around the edges of the mold, and why not? While we're letting it dry, let's go ahead and take a quick test and see how well it did. I do have to say I'm pretty pleased with the glow that we're getting already with just a weak charge while it's still in the candy mold. I'm going to go ahead and let it sit like this for about 12 hours in the workshop. Then. As you can see here, I'm going to slowly start peeling that top part away, making sure that I don't rip the silicone glow product inside. It's not going to be fully dry yet, and as you open it, you're going to realize it does still stink like silicone. So, you're going to have to let it air out a little bit more. We're going to leave it in the bottom piece of the mold for another 12 hours before we start trying to pull them out of the shell. Just to go ahead and help it dry out a little bit quicker, I do prop them up in front of a fan, which also helps to get rid of that smell in case I haven't impressed enough, it is still gonna stink. Now we're gonna go ahead and start peeling them out of the mold, and it's still not gonna be fully dry. We're gonna let them dry once we get them out of here, but what you wanna do is slowly start working your fingers down to the inside and pulling it away from the sides. Depending upon the amount of Vaseline you use, this may work a lot easier, and you'll see in some of the cups that I've used here, it does come out much cleaner in some than others. I like using this particular combination of materials because it does allow these to be a little bit stretchy still, but has a good firmness so we can set these up, as you see, as a cube to be a good three-dimensional glow source once they're fully dry and set. I did mention that they stink, but please understand, it's not going to be a problem once they're fully dry. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and use them just like this, but there is excess material on there, so I'm going to grab a sharp knife, put these on a cutting board, and just start to slowly whittle away at the extra material. I want to have a nice clean look when I'm done, and I think this is going to work out quite well. Just remember to take your time and cut a little bit at a time. You can always cut off more, but you can't put it back once you're done. Now that we've charged it under normal light, let's go ahead and see how it looks. I'm going to pick up the three that glowed not quite as bright as the others first, starting with the white one, then moving on to this one, which is called Sky Blue. I also had a deep blue, which looks pretty good once your eyes adjust to it. But 
the aqua color as well as the green color do glow the brightest. In a future video, I'm going to give you a breakdown of the glow time of the various colors, how bright they are, and some different manufacturers that I've purchased from to give you an idea of who I've liked the most and what colors I like the most. For now, I'm going to take my really cool little glow cubes and put them near a black light source. Once the lights are out, they glow brilliantly. If you come up with some fun ideas that you want to use them for, I'd love to hear about them. Leave me a message in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.